G'day, I'm Grant from Motion, and today I have with me Richard from Loctite. Hey, Richard. Thank you for having me, Grant. So today we're talking about primers. Yes, we are. And we've got a demonstration on how they're going to work. Yes, yep. activators, primers, as they're known in industry. Yep. Uh, and they really are, they go hand in hand with our anaerobic technologies. And it's probably fair to say that it's a product that's almost forgotten about, isn't it, to a degree where... It it's, it's something we don't consider important in the process. We should definitely think about activators and primers yep. when we're using anaerobic technology yeah. because it can do three things. It can speed up the process, mm -hmm. it can activate inactive metals, mm -hmm. and it can also deal with low temperatures. Great. So, and ultimately those three together, we're talking about a, a favourable outcome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, at 21 degrees Celsius, most anaerobics will take a full 24 hours to cure. So you can see that would be problematic mm. for industry particularly if you're trying to get something back into production or online, Absolutely. a breakdown, yeah, great. Yeah. Breakdowns, we can't wait 24 hours. Yeah. So what we do is we refer to the technical data mm -hmm. sheet or speak to an application engineer, mm -hmm. and we de determine uh, if we're gonna use the primer and how much time we get the machine up and running. Okay, great. All right, so we're gonna do a quick demonstration here, and it just so happens that I've got Loctite 620. Yep. It's a retaining compound. So we're actually gonna use that as our demonstration today. Okay. I mean, 620 sits in pretty much everyone's toolkit these days, doesn't it? It does, it yeah. does. It's kind of that, um, it's a medium uh, strength, medium to high mm -hmm. strength. Um, it's got good chemical resistance. Um, and so really, it is a go-to product. Yeah, there you have it. Yep. Great. 609 and 641 are entry level. Mm -hmm. 620, good chemical resistance. And again, you would discuss it with your application engineer. Yeah, sure. So we've got this, we've, we pretend that this is actually uh, a shaft. Mm -hmm. I've used the primer, I've pre-primed mm -hmm. it. And same with this as the bearing. So we're going to pretend that that's the mm -hmm. inner race. So I'm going to use a little bit of product here. And put it around the diameter. I'll get you to hold that one. Yep, no and then what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of product on the leading edge of the inner race. So what I want you to do is uh, we're going to mount that bearing onto the mm -hmm. shaft. And then I want you to slowly turn it backwards and forwards until you feel it lock up. Okay, sure. As soon as it's locked up, then you're going to try and push that bearing off. So backwards and forwards, slowly. And you might soon be able to feel it start oh, to lock. Can you feel it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely I can. Yep. So now try and turn it with all your might to rotate it. Can you turn it? That is impressive. Now what I want you to do yeah. is try and push that bearing off the shaft. And you could see that that was just a clearance fit. Wow, we're talking you know, literally, what, 30 seconds? Absolutely. Yep. Without the primer, how long are we talking? Well, full cure, yeah. 24 hours, fix your time probably five to 10 minutes. There you have it, that is absolutely spectacular. So if you haven't got a can of that in your kit, I'd suggest you want to grab one. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Richard. Wow. If you'd like to know more about that Loctite primer, reach out to any one of our stores nationally.